Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So uh, if you're visiting me today, uh, you're kind of interested in the same problem I ran into. Um, I've been uh, playing around with a uh, neat little Arduino uh, here and uh, went out and bought from uh, local Radio Shack a uh, Mega ADK so that I can hook it up to my droid phone eventually. So I initially got it, um, a smaller one and a Duino Micro and was unable to successfully get the Seed SD Micro SD card interface to work. Um, tried a, quite a few different things, different cards and to no avail was unable no matter what I tried. So um, I went out and um, bought me this nice little Mega ADK here and uh, well you know it didn't work so initially I tried stacking it directly onto the board you notice what they ended up doing was the pins along this side which used to be on previous chips allocated for your SPI communication and um, now they've actually changed that to the pulse with modulator circuit so that you can run a larger array off that. This is your communications rail here, and then across the back is where you're going to have your digital, so you're, you know, you're going to actually be able to pass your digital across there. Your analog ends, of course, are over here on your left. So um, the power pin up right here, you know, your 5 volt, uh, 3 3 reset, 5 volt ground ground VN, all of that, that's all the same. None of that changed. Um, the only difference with this board is that uh, between an Uno and uh, and the uh, uh, what is it Leonardo or whatever, Leonardo has small micro USB ports. Uh, this has a printer style USB input, and it's got a USB input for going from this directly to your Android phone. So um, back to the problem is, so I couldn't I could not get this thing to work. It was really driving me nuts. You know, I knew I had a good card and. It's cheap, and I'm like, well, I don't want to have to spend a whole bunch of money and and wait and order one because they don't sell the uh, uh, Mega ADK compatible one. So I went online, and I've been hunting around, hunting around, hunting around. I could not figure it out. Could not. So about three or four hours later, I finally, you know, I had an idea. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try pulling the damn thing apart and wiring it direct up. So what I did is, if you look over here, uh, you can't see because it won't focus very well for you, but you have pins 13, 12, 11, and 10. So those four pins need to coincide with your SS or your chip select and then you're gonna have your next one above that's your MOSI and then your one across from that is your MISO and then the bottom is your serial clock. So what you need to do and then of course I hooked um, I made sure I just I hooked up power. You have to hook up a five volt power, and I just put a ground so I could you know with a light so I knew that it was actually getting power. Um, and then you come over here and you coordinate. And what you got to do is you go online and um, just like the website instructs when you if you you know look at the instructions for this card, you can go, you download the um zip file that has the um the library header library for this card and then you just can include that and then you can include the functions of this card well it's called the sd fat well in that sd fat library you have to make some adjustments in order for it to recognize that it wants you to use your it's going to be your 51, 52, 53, and 50 pin instead of what originally would have been your 13, 12, 11, and 10 on your Unos and Leonardos. So that's the trick. That's what you got to figure out. So how do you do that? Okay, well, we come over here to the screen. All right, sorry I don't have a screen map or else I'd uh, pull this up for you. So if you look down here, what I did is you can pull up the quick start and in the quick start it'll it'll run through and it allows you to perform a serial function and when it runs correctly it looks like this 
and so it says enter the chip pin and so you tell it well I want to go into pin 10 think maybe it's pin 10 nope because remember you changed it to pin 53 and I'll explain that here in a second so you change it to 53 and look at that card successfully initialized using Omega 80k so my next video I'll show you how to actually fix the header file so that it'll recognize what pins to work on